The United States sees Asia, and especially India, as a market of the future. We don't simply welcome your rise as a nation and a people. We ardently support it. We want to invest in it. And I'm here because I believe that in our interconnected world, increased commerce between the United States and India can be and will be a win-win proposition for both nations. Every five years, the world's largest democracy hits to the polls. This year, many are seeking a change in leadership. The incumbent party, the Indian National Congress, has mostly dominated Indian politics since the days of independence. But with the economy stagnant, corruption rampant, can Congress fight off its longtime rival? The Bharatiya Janta Party, or BJP, is predicted to win a significant number of seats in Parliament this year. But the nationalist has a prime ministerial candidate battle between the two leading parties is further split by a rising new political voice. A journey across the country shows a deeply divided nation and India at a crossroads. Verdict 2014. It's not just Modi wave, but tsunami. Narendra Modi has led BJP to a historic victory in independent India. If the latest leads are of any indication, the BJP-led National Democratic Alliance is set to win as many as 338 seats. And the BJP on its own winning 283 seats is a record by any standards. As in the past, it was Atal Bihari Vajpayee who gave the first ever biggest win by getting 182 seats. Interestingly, Narendra Modi had also created yet another record by winning both the Lok Sabha seats from Vadodara in his native Gujarat and Varanasi, the temple town in Uttar Pradesh, by envious lead. No sooner he was declared elected, Narendra Modi called on his septuagenarian mother and sought her blessing. It was followed by an announcement from the party headquarters that the swearing-in ceremony was scheduled for Narendra Modi on May 21st. He will be sworn in as 14th Prime Minister of India. For every $1 billion in exports, thousands of jobs are supported at home. And already our exports to India have quadrupled in recent years, growing much faster than our exports to many other countries. The goods we sell in this country currently support tens of thousands of manufacturing jobs across the United States, from California and Washington to Pennsylvania and Florida. And that doesn't even include all the American jobs supported by our other exports to India, from agriculture to travel to educational services. 